Right guys, Joe Sexton here, Fat Loss Master Chef. We're back, we haven't made any videos for a while, so this is a new season of some brand new recipes and a new look. We have got a very special guest for the very first episode. It's Mr. Joe McKelvey, X Factor winner. Uh, I've been training him the last couple of months and we've been working on his diet, but he's self-confessed like a newbie when it comes to the kitchen. He's, he doesn't cook, so we're here, we're gonna teach him some stuff. So, Joe, like, when was the last time you cooked? Um, God, I wouldn't even like to imagine. I mean, I can cook the, the my cooking skills go about as far as an omelette. Right. And then it stops there. So that's your cooking skills, that, That's it, scrambled egg, omelette. Um, and most of the time, I, like, I just don't have time. Right. And I, and I should make more time, but right. when I'm working, I'm traveling. I don't have time, so I'm looking forward to knowing some quick recipes that I can knock out. Oh, excellent. Right, so the, be the, the number one thing with this cooking channel and all my recipes are, if the food tastes good, health eating's easy. We're full, we're not finding it boring, so we find that we're still on the wagon longer, we'll lose more weight, we'll feel healthier, and we'll just look a million times better. So today, we're gonna cook one of my favorite recipes, and it's called a pizza. The reason pizzas are bad is because there's a processed dough base. It's full of wheat, it's full of gluten, our body doesn't like it. So today, the meat diet, we're taking that base away and we're gonna be using mince. We're gonna be using mince as the base, we're gonna be throwing toppings on, all the toppings on top of that, throw in the oven, and it comes out just like a pizza, but instead of a dough base, we've got mince and some other ingredients. Sound good? So I'm looking forward to eating it. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so the ingredients of the meat are now it's time to make it. What we're going to do is we're going to put all the base ingredients in a bowl and mix them up. We're then going to get two tins of top tomato chopped tomatoes, drain them off, throw some garlic in, let it simmer for a bit, throw that on top of the base, throw some goat's cheese on and let that cook. We use goat's cheese because it's a lot less processed uh, and it's a lot cleaner and healthier than normal cheese. So first off, we're going to start with the mince. I'll get my hands dirty, Joe, so I'll throw that in. Right. What I want you to do now is throw around about a teaspoon of oregano. I just literally want you guessing. So I want you to open it and throw it in. No right. pressure. Is that that? Perfect. Yep. And now I want you to crack eggs. I've got meat hands so you can do that. Good thing about cooking with someone else is uh, it means that I don't want to have to wash my hands short as this. Pressure's on, not again. Is that all right? Perfect. Nice. I didn't even get any shell in. Right. So now I want you to throw some salt and pepper in as well. So anyway, salt and pepper. Yep, and the next one. That's it. Perfect. Now it's a case that I'll get my hands dirty, and it's a case of just kneading this all together. So guys, this is the base. So instead of having that, instead of having that base of the dough, what we've got is the uh, mince, the oregano, some salt and pepper, and the egg to bind it all together. We don't want to mix it too much. We don't want it too firm. We still want it loose. We don't want it sticking to the actual bowl at the bottom. So that's done. Now it's time to make the topping. Right, so now the meats are based, the mince, the egg, and the oregano, salt and pepper is resting. It's time to chop two cloves of garlic. We're gonna drain two tins of chopped tomatoes. We're gonna simmer them off, and that's the, gonna be the sauce, and then we'll throw the cheese on top. So Joe, I'll do the uh, fiddly bit by taking the skin off. Basically, you're gonna top and tail the, the garlic. So you can take both sides off, yeah. and you want that skin. Have you ever chopped garlic or used garlic before? No, is that the one that stings your eyes or no? That's an onion. All oh, right. <laughs> I cry all the time when I'm chopping onions and shots. Garlic's just, garlic makes your hands smell. Right. Uh, and it makes your breath stink as well. So you find that, I'm gonna take the top of that. So we're gonna, again, just top and tail it. You find that it makes this actual skin come off a lot easier. You don't wanna be dark. Right, so I'm gonna show you how to do one, and then you're gonna do the next one. This is where, again, you, all your uh, fans have told us not to make, not let you chop your fingers off. So <laughs> all, basically you're gonna, get the, you're gonna get the uh, knife, you put all your weight on it and you're gonna crush it. And then what we're gonna do is put them together in tiny, tiny little chops. We're gonna finely dice it. We don't want any big bits, we just want tiny little bits. Just take it nice and slow. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do it that way, and then we're gonna move it to the side and do it lengthways. So you're gonna do it width and lengthways, and you find that you get tiny little bits of garlic instead of big chunks. Mm -hmm. Pressure's on, there you go. Right. So again, you're only pushing it, that's it. And then you find that you bring them both together without chopping your fingers off. Just tiny little cuts, as thinly as possible. So we're gonna do it lengthways and then widthways. That's it. So whilst Joe's doing that, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get two tins, tins of chopped tomato and I'm gonna drain them. I'm 
draining them because I don't want too much of the sauce and too much of the water on top of the meat side because it's already going to be fairly oily. So we're taking as much of the moisture out as possible. So I'm just going to drain these. Right, so that's the two tins of chopped tomatoes drained. The Joe's done an excellent job of dicing the garlic. What we're going to do now is throw them in a pan with salt and pepper. Very lightly and gently heat that up for around about five or ten minutes. We're going to throw the meat at base on an oven-proof dish, non-stick, and we're going to make sure it's all flattened down. We'll throw the ingredients on top, we'll throw some ghost cheese on top, we'll throw in the oven for around about 20-25 minutes, and then we'll eat it. Right, so now it's time to make the sauce. We've got, like I said before, the two tins of chopped tomatoes and two cloves of garlic finely chopped. Now what we're going to do is, everything we're going to cook with on my YouTube channel, I use coconut oil. Coconut oil's got a lot higher burning point than normal oil. You find olive oil when we're frying with it. It burns a lot, it burns a lot faster. And we don't want it to burn. Fat's good. Fat's one of the things that's essential for actually fat loss. It's one of the biggest diet downfalls. People think we're gonna go low fat when fat's actually there to help us get healthy and it's essential. But we don't want it to burn, we don't want it to go bad. So that's why we use coconut oil. So we're gonna use round about a teaspoon of coconut oil and throw that in. We're going to now turn the uh, hob on. You want it from around about medium heat. And we're going to melt that down. We find that's in like a solid, a solid block and we're going to melt that down. We're then going to throw the two tins of chopped tomatoes in. So we're going to make a mess. And Joe, I want you to throw that garlic in as well. That's it. So now when you get the uh, spoon, I just want you to give it a mix and we're going to simmer that for the next three or four minutes, let them flavours come out, heat it up and then that's what we're going to throw on, on top of the meat at base. Right, so now all the individual pieces, pieces of the meat that are made, it's time to kind of put it all together, throw in the oven and then we'll eat it. Right, Joe, again, I'm going to get my hands dirty. What we need is a, a non-stick bacon tray round about that size, we don't want any bigger because we want to use 500 grams of mince. I'm preheating the oven on gas mark 7 which is about 2, 220, round about there. So what we're going to do now is get that mixture of the mince and we're going to throw this into the bowl. So what I'm going to do is you're going to press that down, you want to evenly space it out. You'll find that the size is with this size, the whole thing will not get filled. So you'll find that it's going to be round about an inch from either side on each side kind of like free but it's fine we want to press it down so it's all compact and about an inch thick just like a normal like a deep pan pizza base but instead of a processed dough we're going to be using the mince which i think tastes a lot better as well so this is a good alternative this is perfect for the family as well i don't see why people should adults should go on a diet in they make healthy food, but then let like, kids eat whatever they want. This is perfect for the diet. You can make a big portion of this, chop slices off, and you've got a family meal. Right, so that's all on now. So Joe, what I want you to do is slowly pour that onto the top of there. Just spread it all across. That's it. Excellent, that looks perfect. Right, now it's time to throw the cheese in. I use hard style goat cheese, you can get this from most supermarkets. Soft goat cheese doesn't really brown off, so if we get like a cheddar style goat cheese, one, it tastes a lot better, and it browns off, so it cooks a lot better as well. So Joe, I'll let you do this as well. No pressure again. No pressure. There you go. So we're gonna grate this on top, make sure the whole layer is covered. You don't wanna see much of the tomato, so just keep grating. That's it, perfect. So you wanna make sure the whole of the meat is covered, then we're going to throw the oven for around about 20 to 25 minutes. Basically until that's all brown off. You're going to probably find you'll check it after about 10 to 15 minutes. And if you haven't used extra lean mince, it's going to be swimming in fat. What you do then is get something, press it on. Make sure you take off, drain off all the fat. And then you throw it back in the oven. Because we don't want it to be cooking in that fat because it'll, cook, it'll kind of start to split. So after 10 minutes, I want you going in the oven, getting that fat, draining it off, throwing it back in until it's all browned off and ready. Is that alright? Nice, that's perfect. Right, so, as you can see, there's cheese on top now, we've got that tomato base, uh, we've got the tomato and then we've got the meat base, so basically the mint, the egg, the oregano, uh, and it's all mixed together. Now it's time to throw in the oven, and then it's time to eat. Right, 
right, so the meat test done, what do you think? That's incredible. Does this I want to take it home. I right, does look good, I can't wait to eat it. Right, basically guys, so, like I said before, we've got to make this food exciting, we've got to make it fun, we've got to make it taste amazing, and it's got to be filling. So I want you to enjoy this meter. In two weeks time, we're going to be releasing the next video, so I want you to check it out. Remember, my Facebook link, the Joe Sexton Fat Loss, is going to be underneath this video, so I want you to check that out. And Joe, what's your Twitter? Hey, your at Joe McCarthy 91 so you can follow me there. So follow Joe on Twitter, all his latest gigs and stuff like that as well. Uh, but thanks very much, Joe, I appreciate it's a it. pleasure. So guys, yeah. remember, make sure eating healthy tastes fun, it tastes amazing, and eating healthy fun, and we'll melt some body fat. So thanks very much, cheers, Joe. Pleasure. Yeah.